Right, I'm not saying we're back in the morns. We're not. I'm not saying we're back. At it. I'm not saying we're back in Melmore. We're back. I don't know the intro, but anyway, hello. <laughs> um, I don't know what you say, but here we are, majestic morns from Melmore, and we are going to go for another wild camp, and it's a lovely day this time. And hopefully it's going to be clear skies and nice weather and not too windy. It's all going to be perfect because I've brought the the middle daughter, his boyfriend along. Say hello, Lewis. Hi. Yeah, brought him along. He's, he's sensible now, he says. So we're going to head up, um, just head up the lane. And we're going to take a right, get to the valley between Millbeg and Millmore and head up that way. I've never been up that way before, so we'll see what we do, how we get there and when we get there. Um, should be good for a few drone shots today as well. So get cracking now that Lewis, Lewis has finally stopped faffing about and got everyone on, on and off, on and off. Um, he says I'm. He says he's carrying most of the weight, but I think I'm carrying most of the weight. Okay. He thinks he's carrying most of the weight, oh. but so he's only a lightweight, you know. So yeah, we'll just uh, pick pick up at the top of the the lane because that's just the boring bit walking up the lane. Hearing us heavy breathing, or me heavy breathing. <laughs> this is getting us that aftershave you're wearing. I told you not to wear that aftershave. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the lane. I always say it, but that's a killer. Especially in a warm day like today. So normally as we come up here, um, you can head straight on for Hare's Gap, or you can head left down there for Trusty Track when there's a few rivers to get over. But this time we're heading right, and uh, Happy Valley Car Park's over that way. Never been this way, so looking at uh, route courses, I'm thinking there's a valley that cuts left between. Millmore and Millbeg, and that's where we're heading. Doesn't look far, but I'm sure it's far enough. Yeah, it's lovely today. A wee bit of breeze blowing, but of blue skies. Don't think there's going to be rain, but you never know. We'll get cracking. If you get the shits tonight, I warned you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'd filter mine. This is going commando. It's a good job you brought that toilet roll with you. If you've just drunk that straight out of that. <laughs> Aye, big run. Here, come over, I'll stick this back in for you. I want to record you in case you fall. Oh, that was possible. Half of what? <laughs> oh, you want the... One point five. Seen you recording, nothing ever interesting happens. Not really up me birds of prey, but it's definitely a bird of prey. What do you think, Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a crow or something? Do you? No, it's not a crow. It's an eagle. An eagle? It's a venom. What, like the ones in America? It's a vulture. Know, yeah. A vulture? It's a bird, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just find this wee trailer we're going to keep heading right. Come about um, 4k. According to my uh, phone there from Melmore, and I'm taking that Happy Valley car park there. But I see a wee sign, and a car just tried to stop at the mono, so it must be closed for like working at it or something. But I see a wee picnic benches or picnic benches down there. So I'm taking that thing, and this 
maybe that's where we're heading here, up between these two. And then Fofany or Fofani or whatever you want to call it, the dam that we camped at way back um, is over that ridge there. And I think we're just going to be heading up. I don't actually see any trail heading up. It's bringing up the rear. Young boy. I think young boys have all the energy. But I might, I might that's why it's steep. Yeah. Stop for a bit of, a bit of water here. You. Some of these wee huts. Does look like a bit of a quarry going on there back in the day. Some sort of bigger structure in here. This wee structure. Nice wee bird bath. Oh yeah. Good place to get in out of the wind. Worst case scenario, you could keep in here. Good old picture there. A wee wall. I guess it's not the real Morn wall, but it's just a secondary wall. So decisions. Decisions. Try not to bust my ankle here. Decisions. Do we head up that way or do we head up to the wall that way? <laughs> I can still see the Happy Valley car park. It's just down there. Basically, we walk for miles and hike for miles. We're not even far in. Right, let's, let's start heading up that way. So we took the steep way up. And all the high morns are starting to come into their own now. You've got Doan. Looks like a bit of a nipple. Through the wee gap. Straight ahead you've got Binion. You can see the top Binion and then that's the north top of Binion. Binion's kind of two parts. And then we've got Lamigan. Straight ahead, and then we've got Burner just over there, camped up there before. That's where we're going to go, but I think we're going to bite off too much. <laughs> Get up there because this is hard enough. So we'll keep her lit. We'll have to negotiate this wall a bit here and hopefully see where we're going from there. Thank goodness for that. So we made it up to the summit. And then that's the wee house thing at the end, where the two walls converge. There's gap down there, start from burning. Here's gap. Steve LeGlock, Steve Cora, the Comeda, and then Donard in the background. So yeah, it's not that far of a distance really, but it's like six and a half, six and a half, seven K we've done. And finally made it to the summit of Millmore, which obviously is back there, <laughs> where Lewis is. <laughs> There's the lightning, the lightning pole off the top there. It's a bit dank in here, doesn't it? Screwing up in a bit of history. Mm, bit of history. History teacher, good boy. What's that say? Staying here more, it's like the wall. And that you should just stand up. Historic structure. Up your left. For sure. Even the trees, guys. 
Leave no trace. Really pitched, a bit rocky around here. How about the summit of Melmore? But uh, that's me back, back in the fern one from uh, Nordtent, Norway. The one that everybody's talking about, about people taking it up and 60 mile an hour plus winds and breaking poles and all. But we'll be alright tonight. There'll be no uh, 60 mile an hour winds up here. I think there's 20 mile hour gusts or something, but like I mean, that's not even budging, even though I have to clip a few e vent clips on there. Just one of the vents and around this. So, pretty pleased with this tent. I've had a uh, I have a load of tents, I had an OEX, Coyote 3, it was a three man tent but it was too, too heavy to bring um, camps like this. Then I had a Bobcat 1, I don't think I ever took it out. And I had a Fox 2, camped up Burna, just over there, that first summit of Burna. And the Fox 2 was like a one man coffin type tent, got rid of that. And then had the Wild Country Helm 2. And it was too big for just solo camps. And then had the uh, Southern Cross one. And it was good, low profile, but I just but you couldn't really sit up in it. And see, trying to get packed up your, in the morning, your back was killing you. So settled for the Vern. Um, pretty pleased all around with that, definitely. And Lewis here, he's got his uh, Helm one compact. First time he's in it which is the one man version of the two, very dinky. Not as many guy lines out, but they say that that, takes, that can take a battering in the wind as well. And we can see inside here. Pretty dinky wee spot. He just, he doesn't have a footprint yet for it. But yeah, that's the two tents. So we're going to get all our sleep mats and sleep stuff and everything set up in there. And then probably in the middle here, there's enough gap between them. Possibly set up the wee uh, tarp. And then we have a couple of fire logs. But we have it in a wee uh, fire box, so it's not going to burn any grass or damage in it. Um, it's not going to leave any trace of any fire, so that'll be good. So yeah, I'll just crack on and get these uh, bits and pieces in and then maybe get something to eat on and get the sunset, maybe do a time lapse of the sunset as well. It's gonna be pretty nice. As that goes down, I think it's eight o'clock, another hour or so. Time is it now? Yeah, another half an hour, supposed to be sunsetting, so we'll see that. So no clouds tonight. Totally going to be clear again, going to get some great stars, might even get a wee star trail thing on the GoPro and uh, tomorrow it's meant to be totally clear as well in the morning. So hopefully wake up to that view, which is some job. So we'll get cracking here and I'll see you in a bit. But yet so slow I leave 
of thoughts, yeah, I let them go Cause I'm here with you And all I need is you It's so easy to be us We lock ourselves up from the world we're lost It's so easy to be us We lock ourselves up from the world Lewis has got his first course in him already. <laughs> you took the nice noodles, I had to take the beef noodles. Beef Super noodles. Nice. Oh, they're alright, like, but those are nicer. But I always give the young one the nicer ones first. You crying or you just wires worn? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we uh right. Let's extend it for this thing extend it. Um so we didn't go with a tarp because there's too much up off. To be honest, one of the winds died to nothing now anyway. See that? There's hardly any wind. So that's pretty good. So we're just going to set up here. We've got a few noodles in the go. And then get the wee frying pan. Get the, we've got a wee flat rock. Somebody's had a wee firebox on top of that before. We're going to reuse that for a wee firebox on our fire log. <coughs> got a good... Uh, Sunset there on the time lapse, as you can see, really nice. And with the skies in the morning, we'll get really good sunrise. But I'll have to check what time, but at least we get signal up here, which is good. Some places you go, you don't get any signal, and then you're just sitting there, nothing to do, nothing to watch. But uh, so it's a good thing as well, you get more connected to nature, but you can see over. Distance there, Newcastle starting to light up. You see all the lights in Newcastle there. You can see our breath, it's probably sitting down about one degrees now, but we'll get good stars out tonight. <coughs> you can see a plane gun over, There's a lot of flight plaths over here. But we might get lucky and see a few other wild campers about with their lights on. There was two guys come earlier, um, they had tents and stuff, but they walked on down that way down to the polifuka you call that so i don't know whether they were wanting to come here but to be honest with you there's maybe room for a couple more but kind of two and then you're on that slope so yeah we'll get the first course of noodles in and then um we'll wait a bit and get the wee firebox going and then get the frying pan on and get the burgers cooked i think they just got steak there to cook so yeah there he is <laughs> He's always hungry. Not as uh, not as uh, lonesome tonight with a bit of company. So yeah, we'll get you back whenever we're cooking up the burgers. And I actually remembered the baps this time um, <laughs> because we went I went bapless last time on the last video. So yeah, <laughs> remember my baps. So got the fire log, the fire box. Up off the ground, not going to burn anything. Bit of shit on the rock. And a wee heat shield, so we're all good. We're all good. Fun pack. Yeah. Delightful. Um, I thought you would have had mushrooms with your steak, no? Yeah. 
Yeah. It tastes like what? Rabbit poo. <laughs> oh, rabbit? Have you ate rabbit food before? No. So you think mushrooms taste like what you think rabbit food tastes like? No. Right, okay. So much, I might mostly eat everything. Like. I don't think it's going. Steak. I would, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of steak to be fair, but. No, you're right. I'd eat it if I had to eat it like. So the wife's going. <laughs> the wife's going to kill me because I stole her cheese out of the fridge. I steal stuff all the time. I mean, I steal stuff. It's mine as well. There's another block in there anyway. There's loads. Your pan left in the cake. Worst case scenario, if the gas runs out before you get yours cooked, um, I've got an alcohol stove there and oily that alcohol stove and uh, I'll, I'll work, but I'll, be, I'll take a bit more longer, you know. What? I haven't got my own burner with me tonight, I left it there, the Bailey burner. Shout out to Bailey Burner. <laughs> no, I need one of these. Cores like tonight. Bear with the mountains, up the mountains. I think my baps are squashed a bit. But let me do. Can't be fussy when you're welcome. I think I'll put that beside down. Look at that, you couldn't beat that. Any restaurant would be proud of that. It's even cooked in the middle. Never left this one, it's still lit. There you go, good work. Keep it upright. So, what are you on tonight, Lewis? Um, six pound eggs. Well, they're six pound. No, I'm actually marked in the two. Blum and heck. Not much eating in them. I didn't really look at the price. <laughs> 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 Signal Kitchen. Let me have to turn that down a wee bit. Too hot, it'll just burn.
Tucked up in the tent, 20 to 1, um, completely knackered, sat up longer than I thought it would, um, probably about in five hours time for the sunrise, so can't really be bored saying that much more tonight, after that trekking, so we'll see you in the morning.
you can see a nice sunrise coming up there just from the top of Mount Moor. You see uh, Donard and Comoda there. Oh. <coughs> it's Baltic up here. It's maybe about zero degrees. We can't done a great job again, as always. See people up in the middle bag there, my my dog. A great wee spot. So go over here to the style. Try to not trip over my laces because my boots aren't done up yet. <coughs> There's the view right around there. Yeah, one man and his dog up by uh, Mill Bag there. Can't see anybody moving about Binion, but it's pretty far to see anybody up there. Um, can't see any movement in Burna. Bit too far to see anybody up Donard yet or Comoda. <coughs> Yeah, what a cracking morning. Couldn't beat it. Right, try and get down off this style without tripping over these laces. Should really have tied them up. Be smart, but... <clears throat> so the plan is really to get something to eat here and then get packed up and get out of here because there's a couple of morning races on and they start in uh, Tollymore. And then they run up, um, mainly more up to Happy Valley, up the valley. We come up over the, the call, the, the wall down there. And then I think they head down to the Silent Valley and maybe up Binion, up Lamagan, And right around that way, there's a 50k one, maybe a 25k one. Fair play to them. <coughs> I find it hard enough walking up here rather than mountain running. So, yeah, so we'll get packed up here and... Catch you in a bit. Just going to make our exit here off the summit of Mainmore. Um, we left no trace as we were camping, as for Lewis was camping. Got the big bags packed up again, and this time we're going to exit via the Pole of Fuka and the, by the two sheep down there. Uh, down by the quarry, back on a trusty track, um, back down to Mainmore across. Um, we'll probably fall in with the Morn Runners because they're starting in Tullymore this morning and coming up that direction and round so I'll probably fall in with them coming across Mainmore and Trusty there so we'll get going and I'll see you on down a bit <laughs> Tell you it's steep enough doing this rocky bit Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're up. As we were up in Millmore Summit last night, uh, Jeffrey from Jeff Travel, our YouTube channel, I'll link it in the description there. He was down just in, down at the quarry there. I'm sure they're packed up in a way by now, but hope he's had a good camp and uh, I'm sure the video will be coming soon for that one. Maybe out before this one. But yeah, they were just in that wee area in front of the quarry. <sighs> oh dear, dear. See, it's the winter rocks off me more. Very rocky up here. You wouldn't want to be falling down the rock face of Burner there. Be hurry enough down that. Not down that. Down Burner, eh? I think it'd be next up there. Like, see where I was coming in that there, but like, I mean, 10 foot over, that's, I didn't know that, that at the time. That was like a sheer cliff face. <laughs> but, 10, maybe 20 feet from my, where I was coming. <laughs> you alright, Liz? Alright. <laughs> so, so we made it down to the, I think this is called the Paula Fuka. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some of these flip flops. Take them down, leave them a meal more. Do the good thing, clear up after people. Oh, it's good to have a bit of a walk without, uh, without a pack on. The shoulders are completely beat off. Yeah, that's where we came from there. <laughs> on up, on up, on up, top of meal more. Meal bag. The uh, Moran Runner race that's meant to be on here. <clears throat> I think that's where they're coming. Oh. So they'll be coming through the gap there at Mealbeg and Millmore and heading down that trail and down towards the Silent Valley, I think. And then maybe over. Up Lamigan or somewhere like that. But that's we doing. Well, it's not we doing, it's just doing right in front of us there. I like that one. It's a nice one. You get great views from doing. Now we take a look up the back of Burner there. It's amazing how they get that wall to stay there. The second part and not, uh, not all fall down. It's amazing. How that just stays there. But yeah, it looks tricky enough, but that's the path up. Up to the top. And that's the rock face. So yeah, I'll stop for a wee minute here. Get a breather. Get a jelly beaver or two. And then head down towards the trassy track. Maybe follow me, Jeffrey. If he's doing this, he's still there, but to be honest, with you, I think they were packing up. Oh dear. I think it'll be away by now. There's a minute of faffing about we done. Me. A minute of faffing about I done. There he is. Oh dear. Here. I'll sell a flip flop, sell them on eBay. But yeah, we'll have a wee break here and we'll get cracking down this track.
Right, well, we're kind of, say, halfway down maybe to the Trossy track there. I don't know if you can see the wee car or the wee house at the top. Uh, top moon more there, that's where we came from. Just followed that wall right down to the gap. And then we're taking this track down. And then you can go the higher track down through the quarry to Hare's Gap. And uh, Trossy track, or we'll be cutting down this side track here. Which cuts a bit of that out. Still a lovely day. A wee bit breezy, but you couldn't beat it. Sun's up, getting a bit of heat there. Can't wait to get back to the car. Get a ton of monster cracked open and they just get a ton of Red Bull and uh, that'll keep us awake until I drive the, was it, hour and a half back to Bellamina. And start planning the next one. <laughs> Made it down from uh, Millmore there, and we're uh, just done the way you're ever crossing. So the trek back to Millmore Lodge is pretty boring. So I'm going to end that that wild camp video there. I hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bit of drone footage that we've got. And um, probably the next one's going to be just a hike. I like to get Lewis up Donard. Maybe a couple of other ones up Donard. He's never been. Wants to get the high point ticked off. You're kind of. You can go and pick a few different ones. So, as always, if you like that, give us a like. And bye from Lewis by falls on cue there. <laughs> and on that on that note we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>